That's my spot. Hello, welcome back to uh, a new video. So I reopened my shop in December, as you may be aware. Since then I added my two new prints, which wasn't an update, I just kind of threw them up. Um, and at the moment I'm working on preparing all of my plaques that I've painted over the last like few years basically because for so long I've wanted to do like an originals update and I've also got some Fimo bits to add so I have some hand made slash hand painted things which are just taking up space really and if people want them I would love them to go to new homes so today I've got these two plaques, which are some of my favourites I've ever done, I think they're really cute. But they've got a couple smudges on them and the sides aren't completely finished. This one has a gap down the edge which I need to fill in with glue, so I've just, I need to touch these up before I can gloss them. So that's what I need to be getting on with now. So this plaque in particular has a scratch on it, which I want to touch up, and there's some blue paint here on the edge, and then this one got a bit smudged from the other one, there's some orange paint up here in the corner, there's some orange paint here, so just need a couple touch ups, and some of the edges need a few more coats as well. <laughs> Today. Not for anything too exciting. If you watched my last video, you will know that I created this thank you piece for Natasha, aka Satrin, because I had made an order with her and she put in a bunch of extra bits in the package for me. So I wanted to say a little thank you for that. So today I'm just painting the frame. In my last video, I said I didn't have a frame. I found one that I already own. So I'm hoping it's gonna work. <laughs> the frame was like that smooth plastic, and I wasn't sure if paint would take. So I sanded it and that seemed to get rid of most of the, the smooth coating. So 
It seems to be fine. I'm gonna spray it when it's done and it's still wet uh, with a gloss overcoat, so it should last fine. I'm also painting a piece of cardboard that I cut out to go in the background of the piece because the frame didn't come with one. So I'm hoping cardboard will work. So that is what I'm doing today. I've also just painted the edges of this plaque that I got bored of and stopped working on halfway through just because I didn't want to waste the paint. So it's got a bit primer on the edges now. And that is what I'm doing. I packed an order, a quick order that I had to get ready and pop into town later so I can run to the post office. Don't think I'm gonna have this ready to ship out to Natasha today, but hopefully next time that I pop to the post office, I can send it off. I found this today, which I completely forgot that I had. It's a little Miffy pin and he's got she, he. Miffy is an enigma. <laughs> um, little paint brushes and I ordered this a while ago from the Miffy website with a few other bits and I completely forgot that I had it. Ignore the bookmarks there, just bookmarks. <laughs> but I'm gonna put him on my coat with my shrimp pin that Natasha sent me. So cute. I'll do that in a bit. I'm gonna do another coat on the frame before the paint dries out. So, so far this year it's been pretty slow, pretty chill uh, work-wise. I reached out to a brand that I was talking to in spring early summer of last year about working together and it just kind of never happened i mean you know how life just kind of takes over sometimes um so i reached back out to them and i'm hoping that we will be able to work together because i really want to i think that would be so much fun so if i end up doing that i will try and share some of the process of the job because I really don't share much of my client work here. I feel like a big part of that is because I mostly just do digital work for other people and it's quite hard to film that, especially when there's the added pressure of it, uh, well, the deadline for a start and trying to do your best work for the client, but also like hit the nail on the head of what they want. There can be a lot of trial and error and I don't really want to have to be thinking about filming it when I'm doing it. And then by the time that the job is finished, I've been working on it for months, I want a break, and I haven't documented anything, or at least it's all like digital speed paints or what have you. I feel like it would be really tricky to then make a video out of the project when I haven't been filming it during. Like my work with Usborne when I was working on the colouring books for them. I've worked on three of the books now. When we first worked together, I illustrated basically a whole book for them. And I've worked on like a couple pages, a couple spreads for a couple more books since. <laughs> Maybe. Again, it's all digital and honestly, I mostly work on stuff like that in the evening. So I'm not, it's not really prime filming time. It's, you know, and I don't, like I said, I don't really want to have to stress about filming and stuff like that. And for my Usborne project, I didn't film any of it <laughs> because like I said, it's all digital. So I kind of just have the work to show at the end and then it's like, you know, it's done. So oh my god <laughs> anyway my point is i want to try and showcase more of my client work because i really enjoy watching other people work on projects and like a video that has a theme and it's based on a full project and then at the end you get to like see everything that's finished from like you know the beginning to the end and i really want to do more of that and i was working on a project that i really wanted to attempt to showcase the process of but again all digital a lot of work it's really hard to share and showcase digital work and by the time that I had my break from the project it's kind of like in the past at this point it's kind of like old news so <laughs> I'm like mm, there's no point in like putting it together now and sharing it now when it's been like a year or two so there's a bit of a struggle so I'm going to attempt to showcase this project if it ends up going ahead if not I will attempt to showcase whatever my next project might be but only time will tell how that will go and I also really struggle with these projects can take months and I find it hard to film like have two videos on the go at once and with a project like that you kind of have to like film stuff for the specific video and just put it to the side until you finish the project so then then you can edit the whole video and everything but um, I don't really work like that. I'm just like, I just film when I can and then all of that is my next video. So I can't even think about the one after that until the first one's done. But anyway, it's a struggle, but yeah, um, that was a rant. Whoa, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Feels odd.
bored wearing these now. spot it's March now the time just goes too fast man today I want to work on this you would have seen this in the video already I painted the edges I'm pretty sure I started filming the process of this so you may have just seen that if I've still got the footage because <laughs> it's been a little while remember I said that I got bored of it and stopped working on it I wasn't really into the design it was a bit boring I just didn't really like it so I had to play around and procreate recently and I added a few more elements to make it a little bit more interesting added some cats obviously um if something's boring add a cat if i had known that i was going to be adding more smaller elements i would have done it on a bigger plaque but it's okay we're gonna make it work i've already worked on this a bit without filming it since i've added the new elements but this is where we're at i did all the stuff that would take a few layers off camera because it's quite boring to watch so like all the white elements and, and some extra layers and the star sections. But today I'm going to do some more work on this. So let's get to it because I really want to get this done before I upload this video. So let's begin.
again for the last time in this video, I promise. <laughs> I finished the plaque. Uh, are you shocked? Because I am. Quite often I will give up on a painting, but this one I decided to stick it through and to improve it and make it into something that I like instead of just throwing it to the side. So as you saw, I painted the edges purple. I wasn't gonna keep them purple, it was just because I had the paint, I didn't wanna waste it, so I thought I would prime the edges with it. That's why I've changed them, I didn't plan to keep them purple. And for the background, you saw me painting it green. Typically with my Posca pieces, I will sketch them only in the colors that, that Posca have available so that I can do them all with Posca pens, but I was not enjoying any of the Posca colors as a background color for this piece. And when I was sketching it on Procreate, I landed on a light green, which I thought complemented everything really well, and that's really what I wanted to go with. Obviously, Posca pen don't offer a light green, so I was like, maybe I'll just paint it. I'll be brave. I don't really like paint because of the setup, the mixing, having to use your paint before it dries out, the cleaning up, blah, blah, blah. Don't really enjoy any of it. <laughs> and I was really nervous about the tiny details. So I went in first with a pink Posca pen, as you saw, and I did all of my outlines around everything first in pink. So that way, when I go to paint it, I can just go over the pink and any color that pops through from the background will be a nice pink shade instead of just wood colored. <laughs> so that is the finished piece. It's all gloss now and finished. And as I said, I would have done this on a bigger plaque if I'd known, but it's too late now. Anyway, so that is done, which I'm very happy about. I've got some new wooden plaques coming in the mail, which I'm very excited about. And I made a huge Posca pen order to replace basically all of my pens, which are dry. So I'm very excited to design some new plaques. And now that it's done, I can upload this video. <laughs> Uh, speaking of videos, I am working on that project I was talking about that is going ahead So I will do my best to process that and have that Its own video. I don't know when that'll be out. I don't know when the project's gonna be done, but we'll see how it goes And for this video, this is the end. Thank you for watching all the way through if you're listening to me right now I really hope that you enjoyed it and watching me paint something. I forgot to say that I used wash for the green Which I really actually enjoy painting with. It's so creamy so maybe I'll do some more gouache painting this year. We'll see. Me and commitments are not friends. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you again very soon. I'm leaving. Goodbye. See you then. Bye.